Hi, so I have a beauty and accessories haul for you. It's very small, it's just a few bits I got in Berlin and also home, but I didn't want to include it in my clothing haul because it would have been way too long and you would have all just filtered off into boredom land. So I thought I would just separate the two. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna start with beauty products. So the first thing I got is something that every single girl in the world who watches YouTube videos will know about and it is Bioderma. Now, I know I just, I heard so much about this, but like, I'm not really in that into makeup. Like I really like makeup, but I'm not into spending a lot of money on it. So I'm not definitely not into spending a lot of money on makeup remover. Like my skin is fine. I don't get spots or anything. So I just don't really ever invest in things like this. However, I thought I would splash out on this because I saw it in the chemist and I was like okay I literally should just buy this because I've heard so much about it I need to just try it. So yeah I spent 14 euro on this which I think is ridiculous for makeup remover but oh my god this is incredible like oh my god I just screwed it some onto a pad makeup pad and I just like went like this and all my eye makeup all my eye makeup was just gone it was just gone it was like what how is this happening? Like I end up scrubbing my eyes for ages to get my mascara off. This is just like, oh, 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 gone. Beautiful. Like, oh my God. So now I understand the hype. I just don't think I realize just like, why are all these girls going on about this cleansing lotion? Like, what? how would you even know if it was good? Like, now I know. This is amazing. This is all in French. So I don't know what, when I got, but um, somebody told me that it was like for, dry skin or oily skin or something a special one um i have neither of those things i just have normal skin so this is fine for me but yeah if you were thinking about trying this and we're like no i don't think it's gonna be worth the hype it is worth the hype buy it buy it now i also picked up now this was in ireland not in berlin and it is the maybelline brow drama now um Barbara from the Persian Babe on YouTube, who I'm sure most of you know, um, she like recommended this in her last video and I needed a new eyebrow product. So I got this and I got it in did, did, what colour? Dark brown, because that is the colour of my eyebrows. And it is really good, I have to say. It's very, very, very good. I'm used to using a pencil and this you just kinda hold on, I'll show you the what it looks like. So it's kind of a weird shape, but um yeah, you literally just go do do and like your eyebrows are darkened and held in place like it feels like kind of gross it feels like you put something on them to make them hard like you put hairspray on your eyebrows which I guess is kind of weird but like that just means they stay like that all day long you have to wipe this off at night time um so that's really good and this was like really cheap I think like six or seven euro so in the airport going to Berlin I picked up um benefits their real mascara um, I think it was slightly cheaper, 18 euro or something. Uh, and yeah, whoa, there it goes. Um, yeah, so I really like this mascara. I didn't really see the hype when I first got it, but then as I was using it, I just began to realize, okay, this is really good. You kind of really notice that when you have no other makeup on and you put the mascara on that like, okay, this actually is making my eyelashes look pretty unreal. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with that and I bought a new one and yes, I really like it. So that's a good mascara if you want a mascara. So I think I talked about this in one of my like first videos about my eyeliner. And as you can see, I always do my um, flick, my cat flick, whatever it's called. Um, so I need a really good pen. Um, I've tried gel eyeliners, I've tried pencil, but the ones that stick with me and that I really like using are the pens. Um, the kind of felted looking ones. So yeah, I used to just, I was getting the collection 2001 or the collection one for like a year now and I just keep purchasing that. So I went in the boots and I was like, oh my God, they've gotten rid of it. I cannot see this anywhere. I'm gonna die. Um, and then I realized, oh wait, they do have it. And I picked it up and that was fine. I came home and I realized I was standing in front of the Barry M counter, not the freaking collection counter. So what I bought was a Barry M one, because then I opened it and I was like, oh, it's different, and I was using it, and this went on for like a week, and then I actually looked at it, and I was like, this is freaking, what Barry M, this isn't collection at all, so I was like, hmm, how did I even, I don't know, anyway, this is relatively good, it has like quite a thin felt tip line, I can still do my eyeliner perfect, it still lasts like the whole day, there's not really a huge difference between this one and my collection one, but I still think I'll get my collection one after this because I 
feel like I'm cheating on it a bit. Can't be having that. Cheating is not good. Okay, that's it for makeup, so I'm gonna move on to accessories. So first thing I got was this necklace from Urban Outfitters, and it just has my star sign on it, which is Gemini, as you can see. Sorry. Uh, yeah, there you can see it. Um, this was on sale for six euro, so you know, relatively cheap. I think it was like 18 euro before. And like, this is such bad quality. It's tarnished already and I've worn it for a few days. So that is just shows how crap it is. Like seriously, Urban Outfitters, get a grip. I also got this necklace in Urban Outfitters. It was on sale. It's just like a basic thin chain necklace. That's quite long. I thought you might be able to like loop it over, but you can't because I almost choked myself when I tried to do that. So do not try that with this necklace. This was also reduced to like six euro. This is gonna go crappy and tarnished as well, so I'm glad I didn't pay any more for that. But like, I think even the pennies jewellery lasts longer than this necklace did, so God, just keep that in mind if you're buying jewellery in Urban Outfitters. Don't do it. Don't buy it. So there was a random shop I went into in Berlin, and I can't remember the name of it for the life of me, like I've literally had no idea. It was just like a random one. And I got a pair of hoop earrings, which are these. Can you see? Yeah. And yeah, they're just hoops and they're nice and small. Well, small for me, I guess. And they're gold and they're nice. And I also got rings in this shop. Um, you can see this one here. They're kind of like the ones like little girls wear. They get like a packet and they're plastic. So I got them. They're really cheap. Like, look at this one you got it. I'm not going to wear it. But um, it's like a diamond, fake diamond ring, which I think is quite funny. Um, so yeah, I got those in that shop that I can't tell you what it is, so I'm sorry and I'm out of focus. Come back to focus, come back to focus. I'm back to focus. So in H&M in Ireland, I got some silver jewellery. So I got this necklace, which has three um, kind of necklaces in one. They're all kind of different. So hold on. I don't know if you can see. Yeah. So there you go. You can kind of get the gist of that. Three necklaces in one. And yeah, it's nice. Some problem is it tangles really easily, but this was, um, I think like five or six euro, which is pretty good. I also got a set of rings in H&M. Um, so you can see this one on my thumb here and this one here. And you also get another thick one and you also get another thick one, but I dropped it in the street and it went out into the road and a truck went over it. So rest in peace ring, but I have two more, so whatever. Um, so yeah, it's a packet of these, so you get like these two, what am I doing? <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I'm being so weird. Okay, you get these two hoopy ones and you also get like a packet of these thin ones. Um, and then you also get some really skinny ones like that are this thin. Uh, so yeah, that was pretty good packet of rings. Of course, I've lost half of them already, so that's just fabulous. They were about four euro, I think. So, so yeah, that was my beauty and accessories haul from Berlin and from Ireland. Thank you for watching this uh, nice and short accessories and beauty haul. Uh, comment below if you like any of the things or whatever. And follow me on Instagram and Twitter, which will be linked somewhere down below probably. And yeah, thanks for watching and stay tuned for my next video. Bye.